YouTube, how's it going? It's your guy Nutsy Poop back with another video today, and it's another episode in our Miami Marlins franchise, which I hope you guys are really enjoying. We're going to be doing a, something a little bit different in our Miami Marlins franchise today. We just hit September 1st, which means it is time for September call-ups. We can bring up two additional players, and we're going to bring up two prospects who I've been waiting to see their debuts on this series. Uh, this is the perfect time to bring them up, get some big league experience before, you know, getting them maybe fully up next year. The first of which is Edward Cabrera. Edward Cabrera got called up in real life last year for the Miami Marlins. I did not call him up at all so far this season, so we're bringing him up as a September call-up. He will be making his debut player locked right here in this episode. The second one is a, a player that I'm super, super excited about. It's Khalil Watson. Khalil will be making his big leg debut in uh, the second game of this episode. We might do two different player locks with Khalil Watson. We'll see how it goes. This is going to be a little bit shorter episode than normal, but I like focusing on these young players. I like focusing on the prospects, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll be back to our normal episodes after this, but I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you haven't already, feel free to drop this video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you guys are due. Without much further ado, let's check out those young Marlins. All right, so we have a big game against the Philadelphia Phillies who are currently ahead of us in the... Um, major league standings so edward cabrera will take the mound against kyle for gibson this is a big one we really 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 Jays need this win let's see what our guy edward cabrera can do for us we're gonna player lock it here goes nothing 66 overall not a great overall so far but i want to give him some big league experience so he'll actually go into the bullpen after this i wanted to give him a start in this game he's starting over jesus lazardo but after this he'll go into the bullpen in for the rest of september um just because i i think that that's where he should be right now especially only as a 66 overall all right philadelphia is one game better than us in the standings right now which means they're one game better than us in the wild card standings as well as well so let's see if we can get a big win over here to really help our wild card chances and help our divisional chances um, over a rival we did just only take one of three against atlanta that might be the difference between being in the wild card and not being in the wild card unfortunately so we'll see how it goes uh, in our last episode you saw us play the dodgers we ended up taking two of four in that series and then took one of two against tampa bay so we're playing 500 baseball right now we need to be playing better than 500 baseball just about set to go now. All right, Our Edward Cabrera up Kyle now. But Chris, he has an exact Doesn't have his sinker like that menacing card from DD last year, but that's okay. Still throws the ball very, very, very hard. Has a lot of velocity. That's a good pop up there. Alex Bohm pops up. Boom. Austin Meadows is underneath that. We're already up 2 nothing, which is huge because this is going to be, like I said, a really big game. From the left side. Adam right, circle change. Nope, can't quite get that. That's okay. We're just trying out his pitches. He does have a lot of breaking balls in his repertoire, which can be pretty good, but it does make us kind of reliant on that fastball to get us ahead early in counts. Oh, great. Let's go. Nice little pop-up. Edward's able to get over that, make the play. Let's go, Edward. All right, slider. Start the slider to Bryce Harper here. Hopefully he doesn't crush it. He does not. Lays off of it. Runs off the plate a little bit. Let's go fastball up and away. Career 923 OPS for Bryce Harper is actually crazy. Good swing. Abyssal should be over to get that. And that is a quick first inning for Edward Cabrera, which is exactly what we needed here. Give him some confidence moving forward. All right, still up to nothing. Nick Castellanos up. Scares the poop out of me. Oh, he went. Yes, sir. All right, fastball down away for Edward here. Just don't leave it over the plate. You'll be okay. Ooh, wow, he's way early on that. See if we can get him on the slider away. Oh, that's Cruz. It stayed a little bit too much in the zone for my liking. See if this curveball can really get out of the zone. Mm. Just doesn't even, not even a competitive pitch there. 
was never a question that he was going to let that go. Next wow, Castellanos, down great down eye there. The Let's speed him up here with the fastball up and in. Now back in a two -two count. He's gonna have to go to great else. pitch. Get Let's out. go, Edward. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One away. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike no, zone, a hitter circle change. Can get to it, but that one just had nope. That little okay. At the end, which Honestly, this is just one of those things where we're toying a little bit with these Philly hit, Phillies hitters. Uh, play, being, you know, really, really careful with them, obviously. Schwarber, Castellanos, and uh, Harper are all terrifying to face. 3 0 here to Schwarber. Reese Hoskins have not a very good season. Just, you know. It's okay to work around Schwarber. Really, it's not the end of the world. We'll go fastball again. Similar place, a little bit higher this time. Good pitch. All right, let's see if we can get the backdoor slider to hit here. Oh, that's not where I wanted it. Kyle Schwarber goes down swinging. Edward Cabrera having a heck of a debut here in 2022. Good pitch, man. These uh, Phillies hitters are really swinging out of their shoes on that fastball. I don't know why they're so early on it. I mean, it's not like we have low velocity, right, where you'd expect them to be early. This is literally, I'm pumping 99, and they're just still, still swinging early on everything. All right, get this fastball down the way. Oh, that's a good swing. That's going to get into the gap, too. Unfortunate. All right, so Edward Cabrera is going to give up a hit there eventually. I probably shouldn't have thrown that in one of his hot zones, but it is what it is. All right. Now we have Didi Gregorius. He's only hitting 220 this season. Mm, unable to get the call there. Fastball down and in. Ooh. Late swing, the computer's so left. good at swinging at that pitch. It's honestly crazy. Run at the play. Good pitch, good pitch. All right, give him the slider. Oh, wow, he fouls that off. Okay. Okay. Uh, curveball? Great pitch. Let's go, Edward. Got him. And that is the end of the second inning. Let's go. Edward Cabrera looking very, very strong so far. Still plenty of stamina. He has a 4 nothing lead to work with. Let's close this down. Let's close this down, Marlins. This is a big game. We need it for our wild card chances. Nice. Let's go. Hit him with the slider. He's not going to know what to expect here. Yeah, the righty deals. All right, right so there. he lays off of that. Let's give him the curveball. Back to the curveball. Wow. Sits on that. Somehow, that was out of the zone, I think. But that's a really good swing for JT Real Muto. 82 speed there on base. 82 speed for a catcher is crazy. That was a really good pitch. It got out of the zone. He was just able to make a play on it, honestly. Hard to be upset there. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Nice. You can feel this okay. crowd waking up a bit here. As uh, the let's give him a slider. Noise with their bats. Next pitch is outside. That's not outside. Oh, my goodness. Good pitch. All right, let's see if we can come back with the slider down and in. That should be a nice little out. Okay. He hit it hard, but that's just the loud out number one. What I really need here is Alec Bohm to hit into a double play. There it is. Too slow for two. Mm, okay. Almost rolled the double play ball. Just a little bit too slow. Gosh, man, this ump is really squeezing me. I think I'm putting good pitches out here, and he's just. Next one misses. Two balls, no strikes. All right, fastball down and in. Not where I wanted that. That's okay. Come back up with the fastball up and in. Mm, 3 1 here. Really don't want two runners on with Bryce Harper coming up, if we're being honest. All right, that's a good pitch. Let's get him with this up and in fastball. It's not where I wanted it. But it remains three and two. 
I'm just going to keep pumping them fastballs here. Oh, and that's going to go. Nope, not going to go first to third. All right. Bryce Harper up now with two runners on. This scares me. I'm going to be completely terrified right now. Number six on the National League batting average leaderboard. Oh, my goodness. It's not even like we're throwing bad pitches. All right, that's a good pitch. Way to come back there. Uh, let's go down and away with a fastball. Terrifying pitch. Gets him to roll it over for out number three. We strand two runners. Let's go, Edward. All right. He had to work hard in that last inning. 48 pitches now. Cabrera back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Fouled off for uh, Nick Castellanos. Has 1,200 hits in his career, which is pretty solid. Good pitch. All right, give him the curveball. Please don't hit this. Wow, I can't believe he made contact with that. That pitch was so far down and inside. All right. This fastball down and away has not really been working in this game, but I'm going to keep trying it. Don't get the call there. Also not where I wanted that pitch. Seventh in the NL in strikeouts for Kyle Schwarber. 127 on the season. Oh, please, 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 please. Let's go. Edward Cabrera gets the pop out for out number two in the fourth. Much better inning here out of Edward. Let's start him with the slider down and in. Oh, my God. Oh, Reese Hoskins. That's not where you want to throw that. All right, maybe. Boom. Nope. Next pitch downstairs, and that is ball one. Good pitch, good pitch. Where's he at on that? Very late. All right. Go down and in with the fastball. It's a good swing. Austin Meadows is under it, though. That is out number three. Edward Cabrera going scoreless right now. Nice shutout going. And we are through the scariest part of this lineup. D.D. Gregorius up next. Start him with the slider. And Edward Cabrera just doesn't have control. <laughs> it's just I'm fighting everything. But it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse. Fastball now. Go after hitters and get quick outs. That's not a ball. Oh my god, ump. You are killing me here. That's a pop out. First base side. Jesus Aguilar is underneath that, and that is going to be out number one in the fifth inning. Only 60 pitches so far for Edward Cabrera. He might be able to make the seventh, eighth inning here. Wow, that's a great pitch to Real Muto there. Give him the curveball next and then speed him up. Oh, he wanted to swing at that. He just did not. Got to up with the up and in and fastball. Teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top. Don't of get the, the call. Did I don't know if it's just being a young pitcher or what, but this umpire is really not giving me any sort of latitude. I mean, that wasn't. I guess that wasn't a bad ball call because that was a little bit off the plate, but could really use one of these to go my way. Oof. Foul ball there. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. All right. Yeah. Speed him up here. Slide, er, force him down and in. Boom. Great pitch. Let's go, Edward. And there's two down. All right. Ronald Torres is up now. Ninth hitter in this Phillies lineup. First pitch doesn't find Edward, buddy. I love you. But I need you to find the strike zone. Like that. Unfortunately, Torres is able to make a play on that and gets a nice little singer single over the head of Jazz, falling in between Jazz and the outfielders. Alec Bohm back up next. Gotta come right at him. Next is I feel like I'm, I've been pitching a little bit scared the last couple of innings. Let's just come right at people and see how it goes. Give Alec the circle change here. He does roll it over. Should be able to make the play here. Goes to two. Miguel Rojas able to end the fifth inning. Miami Marlins looking very good right now. Up 6 nothing. Looking like we're going to be able to get a win here in the first game of this series. 
Bro, I'm just, I don't understand. This ump is really, really squeezing me. Like, I have to be picture perfect on pitches, otherwise, I am not getting the call. Hmm, that's good. Good slider, good swing. I guess the slider stayed a little bit more over the zone than I'd normally want it to, but what are you going to do? All right, Bryce Harper back up. Not a good pitch. Do the same thing. Kind of scared of Bryce Harper, of course. Oh, man, that's not where I wanted it. He's late on that fastball, so let's go away on it. There you go. O2. Let's see if we can get him out with the curveball. Nope. Um, circle change. Two two now. Oh. There's no way he should foul that off. That's crazy. Let's pump the fastball. Dot it. Boom. Woo! Rears back and blows that right past. <laughs> right past Bryce Harper, one of the best hitters in the game. Just not getting the calls there. That's just, I guess that's off the plate. Once again, not going to complain about that too much. All right, good slider. Fastball down or away here. Boom. Not quite, quite where I wanted that. That's okay, though. Uh, see if we can get him on the circle change, which has kind of been our strikeout pitch in this out outing. Will be a double play, hopefully. Let's go. Let's go. End of the sixth. Edward Cabrera. What an outing, man. Really, really setting this uh this Phillies lineup down quickly. Alright. I'm assuming I'm gonna have a pretty short leash in this seventh inning, considering I am almost out of stamina. Next offering is in for a strike. Good pitch to Schwarber. I don't know where to go here. That slider in has been staying on the plate a little bit too much, which is making it not a very viable pitch against lefties. But we'll try it. It's a good, a terrible swing there. Make the play. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. Oh, Brian Anderson with the error, and that'll be the end of Edward Cabrera's day, which is really unfortunate because he's had a very, very good outing. Um, Jesus Lazardo comes in, sees if he can go something here. We're going to quick manage the rest of this. Hey, Jacob Stallings with the big hit there. Sanchez push this one out of contention I think all right Miami Marlins beat the Phillies 11 to 3 which is a big win there like I said in the division we'll get right back into it against Philadelphia with Khalil Watson player lock let's get into that all right, so we ended up playing Khalil Watson in the third game of the series, left-hander on the mound in the second game, but we did win the second game of the series, which is huge. We're going for the sweep right now against the Phillies, which would put us two games up on them in the division and give us some big-time boost in the wild card chances. Khalil Watson, the next Khalil Watson up now against Zach Wheeler. We got the aces on the mound for both squads here. See if we can get something with Khalil. Um, I'm really, really excited about him. Doesn't have very much power in his bat, but could be a an elite contact guy. Oh, that's just right not a good side. swing. That's unfortunate. We do really, 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 two. really need so in. the uh, win in this. Oh, wow, they're up four, five nothing. That's not good. All right, Philly's up five nothing early in this game, which is not what you're looking for. Into center. Good swing. That's unfortunately 30 power. Khalil doesn't have much going on there power-wise. What are you going to do? All right. On the plus side, Khalil Watson, a very, very, very good defender. So uh, we don't lose much from him to Rojas defending-wise. That could be out. Let's go. Nice double play there. That'll end the fifth. Philadelphia's up 6-0 in this game, though, so looking like this one might be over unless the Marlin bats get hot really, really quick. Oh, wow. Hell of a play by the pitcher there. Gets it over to Aguilar for out number one. We're going to get another at-bat here. There we go. Khalil Watson still 6 nothing. Zach Wheeler still on the mound cruising for the Phillies. 
I mean, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? series still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some... Oh, we're looking for our first big league hit for Khalil, too. I completely forgot that. This is 100% his uh, big league debut. Good fastball, excellent slider. Give me something to hit here, Zach. I want to poke something through, get my first big league hit. Okay, 3-1. Might at least get on base for the first time. That's a good swing. It's going to be a little bit of a fly out, though. That's unfortunate. All right, let's see if Khalil gets one more outing in this. Man, we are getting blown out here, which is so unfortunate. We could have used this sweep really, really badly. But taking two out of three against the Phillies here is still fantastic. On the ground to short. Watson Make the play. Let's go. Run, sends it over to first. At least Khalil Watson is so good defensively. Even if it's going to take a little bit for his bat to come to play, um, defensively he's going to be absolutely elite as soon as he hits the big league level. Kicks and deals. Out to short. Perfect. Out number three ends the seventh. Let's see if we get one more at bat here. We do. One more chance for Khalil Watson's Khalil Watson. first hit of his Looking career. His we are down 19 to nothing. Okay. Line drive. Lines it right to the shortstop. Unfortunately, we can't get Khalil Watson's first hit, and we get absolutely blown out by the Phillies. That's a worst-case scenario, right? All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Like I said, a little bit short. We got to see the debut of Edward Cabrera as well as the debut of Khalil Watson at the major league level. I hope you guys appreciate it. The next episode, we'll be back to our conventional playing with the Miami Marlins full game. Uh, but I wanted to change it up, especially with September call-ups coming. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I really appreciate it. Be sure to drop it a like and also subscribe to the channel. It helps me out quite a lot. Feel free to follow me over on Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter. All of those links are down in the description below. And um, be sure to check out Gamer Advantage, the new sponsorship we have here on the channel. Their affiliate link for me is down in the description below as well. Or you can just use code NUTSY at checkout for 10% off your order. Thank you guys again so much for the support. It means the world to me. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.